Hi, it's Chris with Shopping Cart Apps. In this session, we're going to do a full overview of the app so you can get up and running on Microsoft Ads as well as know all about the additional features in the app that will allow you to get the best returns for your advertising dollar. So let's get started. After installing the app, you'll be taken to the settings page. Start here will take you to our walkthrough guide and our help and knowledge center on our website. This will take you through everything you need to set up the app with Microsoft Ads and get your first shopping campaign up and running. If you still have questions or would like some personalized assistance, you can message us with the Message Us link or select the icon in the bottom right. It also provides the ability to search our Help Center right from inside the app. Next, we provide the Merchant Center feed URL front and center, which you'll be using during setup. We'll cover this in detail in our walkthrough articles. Moving on to app settings. Collections allow you to choose a specific collection of products to send to Microsoft Ads, but by default, we send all your products. By enabling variations, all product variants will be sent to Microsoft Ads. For example, this would be every t-shirt and every color and every size combination. If you have spent time optimizing your product titles and descriptions via the SEO options built into Shopify, you can also send these to Microsoft Ads instead of your defaults. Our Google Shopping app integration also allows you to send additional information you may have already spent time entering for Shopify's Google Shopping app. Select these options to send that data to Microsoft Ads as well. One final note on these options. If you're using the Google Shopping app from Shopify and you plan on importing your Google Shopping campaigns into Microsoft Ads, you'll want to enable this option. This will make sure that the product ID set up in Google Ads match those that we send to Microsoft Ads. Next up is the subscription page. Your account will default to the lowest cost paid plan after the 30 day trial. We've also gone ahead and calculated how many procs you have in the collection you selected in the settings section to better advise you on the best plan for you. Now onto the dashboard. Here we keep things simple as both Shopify reporting and Microsoft ads is where you'll be spending the bulk of your time reviewing performance and making adjustments to your campaigns. Your store stats will show how many procs your store has versus Bing shopping stats which is how many products you're sending to Microsoft Ads. If you send all your products to Microsoft, these numbers will be the same. If you select a collection that has fewer products, these numbers will deviate. The chart will show how many products are being sent to Microsoft Ads over time. The number should ebb and flow with the amount of products included in the collection selected in settings. Finally, let's cover products. The product page lets you inspect and augment individual product data to optimize shopping campaigns one by one or in bulk. To view a product, select View. At the top of the product details, you can jump to viewing the product in your admin or public facing store. This makes for easy reference when making adjustments. Scrolling down, you can see all the product fields, what their default data is, and if there is an override to that product data. We've included this feature as many Microsoft Ads fields that can be used for optimization are not available in Shopify, so this gives you the opportunity to enter them here. To override an existing value, simply type it in, then select Save. To update values in bulk, select Export to Excel. This will download your products in the feed to your computer. Open the file in Excel, update any product data you'd like, save the file again, and then choose the file to upload back into the app. You also have the ability to search and filter products. Here's the product we just bulk edited with the new value for color. You are now all set to get started, so that's all for now. Until next time, keep it simple, keep it fun, and keep at it.